Hi there, and we are now at the point of free motion quilting. This is a whole series of videos from the start of making this quilt to finishing this quilt. Do you ever look at your quilt and wonder what am I going to free motion quilt within my quilt blocks? Well, one of the great inspirations for me is always going on Pinterest. Just have a look at Pinterest at free motion quilting designs, free motion quilt blocks, free motion quilting within lines, free motion quilting within sashing, free motion quilting within borders anything like that just search within pinterest and see what inspiration you can find for free motion quilting using your midarm i already know what i am going to draw inside of this star pattern i'm going to do some straight lines all the way across inside of each of these triangles and i think it's going to make that star pop right out when we start free motion quilting this quilt the inside lines are a different story. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do inside of there, but I do know that I'm going to use my friction pens, which are going to iron out. This is the first time I've ever marked a quilt. I generally just free motion quilt the quilt using my mid arm, but I am going to start using a pen and start marking where I'm going to do that free motion quilt. And I think it's going to be quicker and faster. But for the stars, I'm going to use a ruler. So I'm going to free motion quilt using rulers. Another thing that you might struggle with when free motioning a quilt is which thread you should use for the quilt. The thread choice that I have made for my free motion quilting is a variegated thread and I think it's going to blend really well with all of the colours and I wanted the majority of this quilt to be pink so it is kind of like a pale pink and it's going to variegate. I think there's like a grey inside of there as well by the looks of things. So here's a bit of a close up so you can see it is, it's not really catching it up very well but it is kind of variegated. So I'm over at my tiara free and I'm going to get ready for setup. I do have some separate videos on the tiara free. So if you want to know how to thread this machine, I have a video for that and I'll put it in the description down below and you should see it pop up at the top. I'm going to be winding at least two of my bobbins with thread just so I have them already pre-wound so I'm not having to stop and start but I don't want to do too many with the thread on so if I don't use it all then it's not just sitting waiting for my next project with this particular colour and I do have a separate video that shows you how to wind a bobbin using this bobbin winder I've already done a video on how to get all this organised all here so I will put a link down below but I will give you a quick tip on how to thread that needle because this doesn't have an automatic threader and I'll show you how you can get that thread in really quickly. I have this ladybird tool in the UK we call them ladybirds in North America you call them ladybugs and it is a needle threader and it actually has a light there you go and what I'm going to do is use this in order to thread my needle. You're going to take your ladybug and you're going to come in from the back and you're going to go in right to the front like so. See how easy that was? Then you're going to get this thread and you're going to push it through this wire. You're just going to pull it. And then you are going to pull this all the way through so it goes all the way through to the back see how easy that is to thread then what you're going to do is make sure that thread is at the bottom of here so it's not going at the top it's going underneath this foot so i've loaded my bobbin in that machine and i am going to raise up my bobbin thread to start my free motion quilting work so if you remember, I placed a safety pin at the middle of all of my stars, so I need to take that out. Now what I'll do is I'll place the button on the machine and I'll press it up and down so the needle goes up and down once. Now this is generally enough to draw the bobbin up. If it hasn't drawn it up, your tail might not be long enough under the bobbin, so just pull it a little bit out. 
but generally that is normally enough to pull the bobbin up so I'm just going to grab these threads and pull there we go there's the bobbin there's the top thread and we are ready to start quilting the one thing I don't have is my gloves I'm not paid or sponsored to show you these two items these are just two items that I enjoy using I will be putting a, an affiliate link down below just so you can just check them out so I use this non-stick coating on my rulers I find it works so much easier just to make them rulers stay and grip so I've turned this onto the back side and what you'll notice is it will do a clear coating on your ruler but you can still see through it and you can still see your lines so I'm just gonna if you need to take it outside to do it you can do that I'm just doing it in my sewing room here so as you can see it's left like a clear you don't have to overdo it just lightly spray it and over time it will fade away but you can literally just give it a clean and spray it back on again I absolutely love this so I'm just gonna leave that to dry just for a little bit it's not that long um let me just have a look here just says after a minute of drying is ready for use so it's super super quick so I'll put the link in the description box below not paid or sponsored but I will put an affiliate link in this is what I'm aiming for this effect and this is really achievable using rulers. Quilting with rulers is very very forgiving so if you want to do any quilting I would suggest that you would buy some rulers and get started using them because it's a very easy gateway in order to do free motion quilting. As you can see down here I've already done a straight line all the way down this seam. I'm going to line my ruler up with the seam up the top and then I'm going to go straight down and free motion quilt all the way down this line here now I'm not bothering to be precise I'm not really that anal I am just going to keep free motion quilting all the way down to this point And then I'm going to change direction and then go all the way up where I've just been but I'm going to move my ruler because I want this to be kind of like on a diagonal and then spread out at the top. So I'm going to go all the way back up. I've just noticed I haven't got my gloves on. I should correct that later. And I'm going to go across this seam so just do some quilting across here and I'm going to go all the way back down and go all the way down this seam and I'm going to travel all the way back up again Sometimes you have to reposition your ruler. And I'm just going to go straight across here again just to make sure that this is all a straight line. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my whole quilt around because I like to go up and down on this particular design rather than left and right like you could continue on and go left and right but I prefer to go up and down so I'm going to turn this over turn this around I'm going to put my gloves on and I'm going to show you again how I do this point so here we go and put my gloves on they're a little bit dirty at the tips they're they're well loved should I say so I'm going to go back down here again And I'm just going to reposition and sometimes you may have to lift your quilt about your quilt will get heavy on either side 
So just make sure that you're not fighting with gravity. I'm going to twist my ruler and I'm going to go up. Here we go, we're going to travel across here. And then I'm going to come down because I want this to come to a point. See on this one how it's just spread and it goes off to a point. That's exactly what I want to do here. Go down. Do your quilting all the way down. And then I am going to do my free motion quilting all the way back up again. I'm going to follow, follow this seam. And I am just going to make sure that follow that off and then I'm going to twist my whole quilt around again and I'm going to take this other triangle I'm going to, watch, I'm going to let you watch this whole star as I do it here we go again putting my gloves on so I'm going to go all the way down go all the way down then I'm going to quilt all the way back up again do you see how easy it is to quilt free motion quilt with rulers And I'm going to travel across this seam. And I'm going to go all the way down. And then I'm going to come all the way back up again. Let me know, do you do any free motion quilting? Is there anything that you struggle with? Let me know in them comments down below. I would love to answer any of your quilting questions. Move that out of the way. I'm just gonna follow this line here. Sorry if the camera's shaking a bit. I've attached it to this table because it gives the best camera angle. Here we go. This is the last portion of the star. Let's go. Free motion quilts all the way down. So make sure you manoeuvre your fabric if you need to. As you can see, I've got it like all bunched up here. And I'm going to free motion quilt all the way back up. And then I'm going to travel along. I'm going to quilt all the way down. And then I'm going to go into that seam. Move hands if we have to. Now, I need to get to my next star. 
and in order to do that I am going to travel down you don't have to keep on pulling your bobbin thread out don't do that so I am just going to follow all the way down the seam it's going to go down here show them in the seam I'm going to keep on going all the way down and now I'm at the start of my next star I'm going to concentrate on doing all of them stars and then I will be taking out one of them coloured lines by putting something else within them don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my next video and thank you so very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed watching this free motion quilting adventure